During the blissful summer of 2020, Mr. Beast sent the internet into a frenzy. I created the world's hardest riddle, and if you solve it first, you get a $100,000 stack of cash, no joke. Spanning 100 days and staggering $250,000 spent creating it. It was anyone's game to solve. They'll be stated. But I doubt anyone will. You have to be the smartest man in the world. And of course the riddle would not have been by Mr. Beast if there was not prize money thrown at it. The winner would receive a life-changing amount of $100,000. On top of that, they would be featured in a Mr. Beast video. Today, I will walk you through how the riddle was exactly solved, and the mystery surrounding its winner. The following night after Mr. Beast tweeted his riddle announcement, he dropped the first clue. On a newly created channel purely for the riddle, Mr. Beast uploaded several unlisted videos with the first being linked onto Twitter, titled Step 1, which took you of course to the beginning of the riddle. But this was not the official Step 1, but more as a preview of what was to come. In the video, Mr. Beast explained more about the riddle he set up, such as how each clue in each step could be crucial for several steps down the line. But sometime later during the video, he showed the code Z that will be very important at the end of the riddle. But within the video description of this preview of the explanation video, lay the actual link to the first of 26 steps. Arriving at step 1, also within the video description of this video lay 10 links. Simple enough. Anyone could guess and check, and they would eventually figure out that the correct link to the next step was in the fifth link, taking you to the second step. And this time, Mr. Beast had this to say in the video. Congrats, you found the one link that worked. I'm really proud of you, but I need to weed some of you out. Like, there's just too many people still here. So this time, instead of giving you 10 links in description, there's 10 links on the screen right now. And only one works. Again, if you could guess and check, and this could have possibly taken more time, given that the links were on the screen. But even with just a little patience, you could figure out it was this link taking you to step three. This video was significantly longer than the previous steps, being 7 minutes and 30 seconds long. Almost all of it was filler, which these red herrings would be common throughout the rest of the challenge. Except for step 3, if you paused at exactly 6 minutes and 8 seconds you would have caught a link paper scissors made of rock.com, which took you to the next step. By this point, you would have completed almost a fifth of the riddle. Today, the paper scissors made of rock.com link is defunct, but back then, it was redirected you and Mr. Beast's friends, Chris and Carl, quietly playing a game of rock, paper, scissors, along with another letter code, just like earlier in step one. But this time, it displayed Q. To an outsider's eye, Chris and Carl's little game may have been puzzling, and perhaps the clue to step four, like the other steps, was in what we saw. But that was not the case. The clue this time, rather, was in what you've heard. A quick conversion of the rock, paper, scissors video to an audio file would display audio waveforms. For the first two seconds, the noise Chris and Carl made dot, dash, dash, which spell out a letter in Morse code. W and then another W. If you went through the entire video aside from their physical movements and body language, uninterrupted, you would figure out the link spelled out saverbowls.com. Again, the link will not work today and has since expired like most links in the riddle, but at the time, the link would have taken you to step 5, which is Mr. Beast walking you through what you needed to do next. The next step involves signing up on mrriddle.com slash register to further participate in the game. Aside from requiring the contestants that remain to be 13 or older, there was another condition. This one more controversial, as the money in this riddle was sponsored by Apex Legends, it was for legal reasons that they had to exclude people from certain regions from the contest as they couldn't give money to them. But it did not sit right with some people that Mr. Beast announced these terms this far into the riddle. Not only did you have to be 13 or older, but only people from these select countries could participate in the remainder of the challenge and win the grand prize. But if you managed to complete steps 5 and 6, you would be redirected to a different page on the same MrRiddle.com website taking you to a phone emulator. Mr. Beast explained that you needed to ditch your phone and any number you would call or text throughout the rest of the challenge would be done through this emulator. Afterwards, a third key code letter would be given and this would vary from contestant to contestant. Again, this letter would be key for the end of the challenge. A voicemail from Mr. Beast lay inside an app on the emulator. This is what it played. Welcome to Step 8. What can you put 100 million of in your friend's backyard? Also, Yoda is very cute. A quick dive into Mr. Beast's Instagram following list would show that he was following an account called Baby Yoda Riddles. The Instagram account took you to qrjustgettingstarted.com for each unique contestant on this page. QR codes were generated for them. And like for the key code letters, all these QR codes would also vary from contestant to contestant. And of the hundreds of them, only one of these QR codes would work. 
Rather than scanning the URL one at a time, some people simply created a code that sped up the process leading to step 10. Within the 10th step, the video was very short. Here it is. Congratulations, you made it to step 10. Here's a cookie. That was all. Going back to the preview video that I mentioned earlier before step 1, when Mr. Beast was explaining the challenge in the video he passed by Chandler eating a cookie with a hat on showing the Twitter bird, the logo of the social media app, looking at who Chandler followed on Twitter, contestants found a user by the handle of Mount Cookie is here. The account only had one tweet and it was, I like lots and lots of words.com. Clicking the Mr. Cookie URL would have given you a text on your phone emulator from Mr. Beast, asking you to count to the 6,969th entry within the dictionary app on the emulator. Again, someone could have automated a code to do this for them, but regardless, anyone that did what Mr. Beast asked of them would have gotten a three-letter word, CVB. Within step 12, replying, told Mr. Beast's text with that word, allowed contestants to receive another text from them, giving the fourth-letter code, which again was unique, followed by an excerpt from Rudyard Kipling's 1894 Jumble Book. Hidden within the plain text was the sentence, Call me. Followed by some numbers, you would type the numbers onto your phone emulator to which a pre-recorded message by Mr. Beast would answer on the other end. Well, well, well. You are doing good. Keep up the good work. Who do you think is cooler? Chris or me? With the annunciations and robotic voice Mr. Beast took on, contestants quickly figured out that Mr. Beast was giving them necrotic. Acrostics are worth certain letters in a text, usually the first letter of each line, word, or paragraph spell out a word or message. In this case, Mr. Beast's voice call spelled out this website. An interesting slideshow played, and one of the photos shown was Mr. Beast's younger brother. Contestants quickly matched the picture to an Instagram profile with the handle Mr.BRSPASSETI, taking them to the next step. One of the account's posts was a picture with the Earl, Wraith has much to say.com. Going to that website loaded a page with an Apex Legends character with yellow text in front of her, reading. I understand now. They use these charge towers to power the island for there. And then there was a blank for a missing word that the contestant had to fill in, which was the word experiments. More than halfway done with the puzzle, then contestants were led to the next step. It was the question, does Chris? And again in blank. Contestants that had to go through hundreds of videos in Mr. Beast catalog that featured Chris or a mention to find a video dated June 30, 2018 titled World's Hottest Substance vs. Coldest Substance in this video, towards the end. Chris had a lot of moisturizer on him. With this clue, contestants completed the question, Does Chris moisturize? The page redirected contestants back to the phone emulator, to which Mr. Beast would text a message of Chandler holding up an iPad along with a code, free store. Now, it was very important to go back to the very first video that explained the riddle, in the video, Mr. Beast held up a board that had Chinese symbols, translating directly to these numbers. Dialing these numbers into the emulator and calling the number for the first time yielded this audio. Press 1 to continue. Press 2 to hang up. If a contestant pressed 1 to continue the phone call, it would play this. Professional soldier. I will cut this short because this audio was actually longer than 20 minutes, and like I said, in the beginning of the video, this was one of the red herrings Mr. Beast threw in. Hanging up and redialing the number alongside dialing F R E E S T O R A, aka the code that Chandler gave earlier in numeric text, took you to the next step as it gave a call from none other than William Shakespeare. Of Windsor by William Shakespeare. Act 1, Scene 1. Again, I will cut this short because this monologue was filler, but contestants picked up on the fact that typing in mr.riddle.com slash Shakespeare would take them to the next step. On this page was the fifth letter code, again unique for different contestants, and a crossword puzzle that had to answer the prompt, what people should do. Which if anyone watched you do was subscribe to Mr. Beast, a phone number along with a smaller number underneath it popped up. Contestants had to text that smaller number to the phone number via the phone emulator to get to the next step. A video would be sent out on the emulator in response to the text that played the Apex Legends trailer. However, above the video had a mailbox labeled CC multiplied by 42,069. The CC stood for closed captions. Looking at the closed captions of the Apex Legends trailer, gave this transcript. 
Within this transcript was a total of 89 letters. Multiplying that by 42,069 gave a number that was to be used as another code to send via the emulator text, bringing the contestant to another step closer to the grand prize. The emulator took the contestants to a page containing the Flappy Bird game. A total of 100 points had to be scored to proceed, but contestants complained about the game's bugs and decided to code a workaround again to complete this step for them. Upon completing the task, coordinates were given that led to the Grand Canyon. Again, contestants had to go back to video zero to continue. In the first video of Mr. Beast explaining the riddle, Chris is riding a golf cart with a Grand Canyon license plate. On the roof of the cart was the Twitch logo. A dive into Carl's Twitch Livestream archives will show he was Livestreaming the Apex Legends Grand Canyon map a few days prior to the riddle's start. In the more than four hour Livestream, he quickly flashed for a few seconds a page. Going onto the page led contestants to the next step. The page contained a timer that contestants had to pause exactly right to 69 seconds. With enough frustration, many again found a workaround through coding a script. Upon its completion, contestants obtained access to mrriddle.com slash 1000 with the sixth unique letter code. Coming through the 1000 links, one of them brought the contestant to mrriddle.com slash end credits with congratulations from Mr. Beast. Congratulations on solving the world's hardest riddle. Take those six yellow letters you saw throughout the riddle and put them in the box below. And if you're the first person to do that, I will ship this hundred grand to your house. Congrats. Pasting the six unique letter codes found throughout the riddle into the box under the video completed the final step 26, bringing the entire riddle to a close. Now the actual person who won solved this entire riddle in under seven hours. And that's not to say this came without controversy. Some people criticized this riddle as a mere marketing ploy for Apex, and there were complaints of cheating such as through coding scripts via several of the steps. But dismissing those complaints, here's where the primary mystery lies. Nobody knows who the winner is. At this point in time, several years later, the person still remains anonymous. However, there are several people that the general public have suspected to be the winners of the riddle. But at this point in time, several years later, the person still remains anonymous. No one knows who it is for sure. But one thing is for certain they're $100,000 richer because the winner also received a ticket to be in a Mr. Beast video, there's a strong likelihood the winner is someone you would have seen before. That's all for my side guys. If I have made your curiosity to an end, then please like this video to make me a happy person.